I was going to say these chairs make me so much like noise. Like you're at a party. You know, you're at a party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what party to get <laughs> Not that one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I have made a very special video with my friend, Linda. <laughs> we are doing like a little get ready with me or we did a little get ready with me. It's less of a makeup tutorial, more of a chit chat. So I hope you enjoy the video, but yeah, stay tuned. Okay. All right, we're gonna do our makeup. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> what do you do first? Um, I usually just nourish my lips. Do you wanna try this? Yeah, I do wanna try that. Okay, go try. So we're going to be answering questions while we do makeup. The first question was, have you pooped already today? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I have. I did this morning. Yes, yeah, same. I'm going to use the Red Beauty Conceal. I just use anything. Do you like it? I feel like it's not bad. I feel like you get pretty good coverage out of it. Out of everything I bought from Red Beauty, I think the concealer is the best thing that I've purchased. Mm -hmm. And the lip balm as well. But I don't really like the foundation that much anymore. I thought I did in the beginning, but I don't really like it that much. I've heard heaps of people rave about the foundation. I feel like it's, it clings onto dry skin. Maybe we should tell them how we know each other. Oh yeah. Maybe let's just start that because you're just this random bitch in my video <laughs> right now. Who am I? So Linda and I, we first met in year seven. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we were seven gold. I can't believe you remember the color. Yeah. And yeah, and here we are. How many years later? So 2007. <coughs> 21. I feel like. How many is that? 90s. Yes. Fuck. <clears throat> is it really? Or is it more? No. Come on. From 2012. Nine years. No. What? Am I missing something? Yeah. <laughs> we were in year seven in 2007. Oh my gosh. I'm counting from 2012. I'm so done. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Fuck, I've known you for 15 years. Yeah. In year 12, we did the exact same subjects, we had the exact same timetable, and I stopped carrying my timetable around. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just went to look for Linda, and I knew where I was going, so it didn't matter. I'm going to use the new Patrick Tarr palette. So I haven't really done a look with this. Um, I've only used it on my clients, but I'm excited. What's your all-time favourite memory? I feel like my all-time favorite memory is just like anything that's got to do with like traveling. Mm. Like when I was in Bali with some of the girls and then when I was in America with like, you know, Viv and Aini and stuff. That's so and true. Cindy. I feel like that to me is like one of like the highlights of my life. I said in my yeah. last video, Christmas is like my favorite time of the year. But if I'm talking about like my all-time favorite memory that's like iconic. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, traveling is always going to give you like the best memories ever. If you travel with the right people, I think. Yeah, that's true. What's your favorite all time memory? I'd probably say when I was a kid and just like hanging with my cousins. I feel like when we were all young, we were always just together mm -hmm. having sleepovers and we'd go for like bike rides, go to the milk bar, just the simple shit. Yeah. Um, the simple life. Yeah. America was one of my favorite trips ever. So Linda traveled with our friend Jenny. Just as I was leaving America, we crossed over for one day and we caught up and had like deep dish pizza and stuff. Oh my and then gosh, I yeah. had to jump on the flight with our other friend and then she had just arrived, obviously. But yeah, that was a really fun day as well. We had that ice cream as well. The Arctis ice cream? Oh, so good. so good. I think people keep asking me this question, so I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. I keep getting this question every time I do a Q&A, mm -hmm. but where do you hope to be five years from now? In terms of like relationship-wise, I guess I'll be married with Andy. <laughs> She's engaged! Maybe like one kid in five years. How exciting. <laughs> Can I borrow some kids? There's white there. No, that's glittery. It's not. Look. Okay, so the glitter's from somewhere else. No, it is glittery. <laughs> but it's like... Yeah, I want a mat. I want a mat. You know what's so funny is that I don't think anybody's heard my real laugh because I really laugh to myself, but now they're just giving me this <laughs> hyena laugh. In the whole thing. My laugh is disgusting, but it only comes out when I'm with friends. Don't worry. Andy says my laugh is like Marge Simpson, so... <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's sad, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to laugh. <laughs> Can I see? It's been on all day, that's why, you know? It's like fucking mat. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> dried down chalk. <laughs> and you're like, try 
not a power it down anymore. So I think I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I, in five years time, want to be living abroad. Hopefully, yeah, just living overseas, living life, living my best life. Um, and if I, I might have already traveled abroad by then, then I want to be back here and like working in a skin clinic or I don't know. I still want to be doing whatever I'm doing now. Yeah, but with more money. You're already kicking goals now. Kicking what goals, huh? All the goals. When have you felt the most proud? When I competed. <gasps> when I did that bikini comp. Yes, attach picture. <laughs> that was very challenging, but... Yeah, you worked so hard on that one. Was, I don't even know how you did it, honestly. It was very rewarding. That was like, I feel like I was at my peak during those years. I was gonna say these chairs make me so much like noise. Like you're at a party. Whenever you're at a party. <laughs> I don't know what party to get to. <laughs> Not that one. I don't know, my training was like at its peak. Yeah, you were training. You know, hard. like I loved You were ripped. I <laughs> loved training. And that was like my life. And I feel like now with COVID and stuff, mm -hmm. I've kind of lost my Your rhythm. Yeah, with my training and it's hard though. I feel like I don't know many people that other than if they had a home gym who could keep up with it you know it's kind yeah. of like very hard especially when you've been training in a commercial gym yeah so when was your most proud moment i think my most proud moment was deciding to start uni again and just be like a mature age student and not give a shit yeah another proud moment was like when my page finally started growing yeah like sometimes you just create so much content and like you feel like no one's looking or watching and like you don't think anyone cares but it's nice to know that some people appreciate it. People love Gucci paints. My sisters are obsessed. I'm obsessed. Literally, everyone's obsessed. But I think you've built it to something really awesome. And I hope it grows, continues to grow. It will. So I feel like it's a nice, a very nice community that we have. Can you do my eyes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like Maybe look straight ahead for me. Do you feel like you've always been into makeup? You are like the glam queen in high school. I felt like I knew what I was doing with makeup, but mm. I like would never wear makeup to school. Like I never Yeah, really... that's true. I was too scared. I was a fucking chicken when I was in school. No, but when we went out, Michelle was like oh God, full yeah. beat like all much. the time. It was a bit much for you year nine. I'm sure now it's like not the norm. It was like and no then makeup. it was like <laughs> minimum. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. I'll stop there. Okay, are you going to do that other eye? It's so pretty. Hmm. <laughs> I can't take compliments. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what do you do when no one else is around? What? I feel like everybody does the same thing when no one else is around. Like, you're a weirdo. Like, you know, you sing. Yep. Yeah. You dance. You dance. Yeah. I check my booty gains. You twerk. Yeah, I look in the mirror and see if my yeah. butt's growing, but it usually hasn't. I'm scared. You used to wear this stuff. I don't think, yeah, like 10 years ago. If anything, just don't put shimmer on this and do a wing liner. Oh. Give it my best shot. I'm too nice. I need to don't put that in. <laughs> I love this smokiness. Such fucking liar. A second ago, you were like, this is <laughs> so smoky. I feel like once I have everything on, do you believe in soulmates? You know, soulmates don't really need to be your partner. It could be your friend. Yeah, I agree with that. I think in life, we trick ourselves into believing that we only have one soulmate as a romantic partner. But I think like in this world where there's like a billion people, I feel like it's impossible that you've only got one person for you. You can be compatible with so many people. Like there's, there's no way scientifically not that i always care about science there's no way scientifically like you're not going to be compatible with anybody else and i feel like with relationships people grow into each other right yeah so you might not have even been soulmates to begin with but as you build a relationship you become like quote unquote like soulmates or more compatible so yeah no i don't really believe in soulmates as much as i would love to i think you're very compatible with people and you work to build a life around each other but yeah that's my long fucking answer it's a very deep answer. Well, it is. I think I think about it all the time. Mm. I think I think about love all the time. We all love 
We all love, love up, really. Yeah. What do you consider the ultimate comfort food? Probably a really nice pizza. I feel like it needs to be something hot. Agreed. Yeah, I would probably say like a nice, juicy, cheesy pizza. Or a burger. Any? what's your favourite burger? Are you a Macca's girl or are you like a Hungry Jack's or like are you a gourmet? Gourmet. Burger. Kind of gal. I could go a Macca's double filo fish any day. My kind of gal. Yeah. Even though I'm vegan. But I'm <laughs> kind of gal. Um, and if I want to do it, can you believe that people have never had a fillet of fish before? Who? So many people. You think about it, Cindy. She's never had one because she's never eaten anything but chicken nuggets. We have a what? friend that has never eaten anything but like nuggets on the menu and maybe like the McChicken patty because she doesn't like burgers and she doesn't really like tomato sauce. But. <laughs> oh, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, just. Back then, I used to be a burger freak. You know Huxter Burger do? So I have I have always loved Huxter Burger burgers, mm. but they recently, well, not recently, but in the past like, year maybe, they've done vegan burgers, and I reckon they're the best vegan burgers Bullshit. I've had. So good. Because they give you the brioche bun. Like, it tastes like a normal oh. burger. Have you tried the vegan burger from Grilled? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. That, I just am not crazy about the grilled bread. I like a brioche oh, bun. Oh, yeah. What's yours? Your ultimate comfort food. I was going to say the same exact same thing. Really? I feel like, but I, I think garlic bread mm. is like the ultimate comfort food. And it can't be like fancy garlic bread. It has to be like the shitty, like no bread. Wrapped, in, wrapped in foil. Like <laughs> garlic bread. I don't think it's the same when you buy pizza at a restaurant. Like you have to get the shitty like Domino's or like Pizza Hut pizza. Yeah. For me, I feel like that's comforting. That's when you're sitting true. at home, like in front of the TV. Mm. And just like eating the fucking slice out of the box. Even yeah, that deep fine. dish pizza from America. That was so good. I still think about that till this day. And I wish I ate that last slice that we left. Yeah, and this random just came up to our table and stole our slice of pizza. That's America for you. If you guys want a pizza recommendation in LA, I actually got this from an Uber driver. So the best thing you can do when you travel is just ask Uber drivers like what their favorite restaurant is. And nine out of 10 times, it's like the best restaurant. But Macca's used to be my comfort food. Yeah. So Macca's used to be my comfort food. I used to love a thick shake. Oh my gosh. Strawberry chocolate. Uh, favorite was vanilla. My least favorite was strawberry, but everybody loves strawberry. Strawberry was the best. I, no, no, sorry. Chocolate was my favorite, and then it was vanilla, and then it was strawberry. Same with the sundae. Sundae, my favorite one was the chocolate. Yeah, and chocolate's good. I never had caramel, caramel until was like I was good. older. Mm. But chocolate was my favorite sundae. I didn't really like strawberry as much, but I'd still eat it. I love strawberry. I feel like you also loved chips, Macca's chips. Me? Yeah. Right. I still love chips. The best chips though, I don't think they're the Macca's ones anymore. It's the freaking Hungry Jack's ones. No, I disagree. Best chips ever is schnitz. No, no. Bullshit, Hungry Jack. Think about this. Hungry Jack's chips are like the crispy, fresher version of KFC. KFC chips are soggy, it's hot mess. Yeah. McDonald's chips, they're a bit too thin, there's no like bite to it. Mm -hmm. And Hungry Jack's is like the perfect tyrant. Yeah, well, if we're comparing Macca's, Hungry Jack's, and KFC, definitely. Yeah, but you don't want to drag Snits into it. Does Snits have a fucking drive through? <laughs> what do you consider to be your best physical feature? I really like my nose. I really like your nose too. I reckon you've got one of the best noses out there. What about you? Um, I think it's between my nose and my lips. I don't like my nose front on, but I like my side profile. Mm -hmm. But my lips, I like it when there's like lip liner on it. I like the shape and stuff. So it's between the two. It just depends on the day. So those two, my lips and my nose. So the question is, what's the worst decision you've ever made in your life? I probably have a lot, to be honest with you. But I don't regret them. They're like, I feel like any decision I've made, I don't regret anything. It's a learning experience. Experience, yeah. I definitely have decisions that I think are shit, like shitty decisions, but I don't regret it because it's like, it is what it is. Yeah. It's already done. I've made shitty decisions about money, mm -hmm. like spending money when like I didn't have it just to like keep up. Okay. I think my worst decisions I've ever made was entertaining guys in my life that I sh that should have never given a fucking the second day yeah never even should have looked their way mm -hmm. knowing exactly who they were as people and like 
I already knew what they were going to be like, but I still gave them the time of day and still entertained their bullshit. Like, what a waste of time that I, it's just time I can't get back. But with anything that happens, I feel like everything's a lesson. Yeah, what's your worst decision you've ever made, Linda? I always think about this to this day. I'm not going to mention the names. Okay, yeah. Leaving a job that, mm -hmm. like, I really liked. Yeah. And choosing, like, something that I was comfortable with, if that makes sense. Okay, so you left a job that you enjoyed working at. Yeah. But, but then, for something that was more stable. So yeah, saying? and I feel like I was there for ages and I was like with everyone, like I knew everyone mm -hmm. and I was just comfortable, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you're comfortable, you, you're kind of scared to try new things. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I regret. So you regret leaving the job or you regret staying there? I regret leaving. Okay, yeah. Love this. Yeah. It's all coming together. Whoa, this is so fucking dark. How did I get here? Oh my gosh. How do I backtrack this? What are the qualities that attract you most in a love interest? So what, what are the qualities that attract you most to your partner? I guess this is for you and Andy, I guess. <laughs> um, you go first. For me, it's changed a lot. Like previously it was this, this and this. And now like in this point in my life, like it's so different. Someone who is emotionally intelligent, mm -hmm. like has to be self-aware. I think with a lot of guys, like they're so used to being really like manly and macho that they find it so hard to show any emotion. Yeah. And for someone like me, who's very reflective and self-reflective and always thinks about like how I'm feeling and like why I'm feeling a certain way. For me, I can't be with someone anymore that doesn't, doesn't, show, doesn't show any emotion or doesn't understand it or makes me feel like I'm sensitive and so I can't be with someone that's no longer who has a guard up and like doesn't yeah. really and thinks that showing yeah. emotion is like lame or yeah yeah no thanks I'll say three things just to keep it short what's my third quality that I really like yeah. um oh, that's not a quality oh sorry um that's <laughs> <laughs> I do find tall guys attractive but it's not like a deal breaker anymore I feel like it used to be but I feel like it just doesn't matter like when you're with someone, if they're an yeah. absolute shit cunt, like, and they're tall, like, <laughs> yeah, see ya, bye. See ya. I feel like I want to be with someone who's like, has a really big heart, mm -hmm. really kind and really compassionate. Yeah. So really kind, really compassionate, funny, and emotionally um, intelligent. So to me, those are so attractive. So what are your top three qualities in someone that you find really attractive? I feel the top of the list is definitely someone who can make me laugh. I love a good sesh. <laughs> Laughing <Kind of> sesh. <laughs> Laughing <Kind of> sesh. <laughs> um, you found your person that does bring out the March Simpson. <laughs> March Simpson in you. It's so ugly. I don't think your laugh sounds like that. I don't know what he, you must laugh differently at home with him. <laughs> I'm missing out, obviously. <laughs> Would you say Andy's a real comedian? Yeah, he's such a jokester. I feel like his way of joking is like, it's very like goofy and very like, yeah. He doesn't even try. No. Like it's just him. Yeah. And sometimes he's being dead serious and he doesn't even know he's being funny. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've kind of gathered. I also like someone who shows a lot of love and affection. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm all about that. Just a nice, just throw, you know, just trying to not offend him. Yeah, just like, you know, like hand holding, cuddle, like just a random like kiss here and there. Yeah. Like some people are like really embarrassed by that. And the last quality would be a very hands-on man. In what way? Like can build a cupboard. Yeah, can fix shit. Yeah, love that. Like, Do you love that? Like has a toolbox. Yeah, you hear that, Andy? <laughs> you better get yourself a toolbox. <laughs> But why is, do you ever wonder why that's attractive to us? Do you feel like women are so often like caretakers that it's nice to have someone that can take care of something else? She just likes seeing Andy sweat <laughs> and work his biceps. It's not really anything more complicated. Yeah, okay, just pretty much want to see him like holding a toolbox, like shirtless, <laughs> show me your abs, holding <laughs> a power drill. That's about it. No, There's nothing to it. There's not much more to it really. <laughs> it's not as deep as I thought it was. <laughs> no. Oh, this is such a good question. I, don't, I like this question. Uh, is it another deep one? No, it's not deep at all. <laughs> What's your all-time favourite dessert? Oh, does donuts count as dessert? Yeah, any particular one. Flavour, type, um, shape. 
a salted caramel filled donut covered in like nice cinnamon sugar or something. Oh, that's so delicious. Wow. Donuts and bubble tea. What's yours? Literally my favorite dessert of all time has not changed in years. It's been the same since I was in primary school. It is uh, apple crumble. Really? An apple crumble with ice cream or cream. Obviously there's not much cream mm -hmm. like I can choose from anymore. An apple crumble slice, even better. Like, mm. oh, so good. I feel like any apple, like apple pie, apple crumble, anything with like a spice in it, yeah. cinnamon. Oh, what a, what a dream. That's like my favorite dessert of all time, I think. Yeah, I've nothing really tops that. In apple that pie goes off, but yeah, it does go off. Yeah. You're not an apple crumble girl? No. At all? No, I do I like it a few it. times. I was going to say, you said it was good. Yeah, it's just very sweet. Yeah. I'm going to try this um, banana bread that she's been raving on about. I personally love the Derma Blend powder they mix and I make my own, own cocktail of. Are you already setting it? No. Oh. I just add a little bit more concealer. You look so smooth. It's that brush. And it's probably this foundation, like my go-to foundation. Uh, did you mix the two? Yeah. I'm telling you the sheer glow that I've done exactly that today. She I mixed this. sheer glow and radiant longwear and yeah. it is the best, the best, the best. Actually, I want to try this because yeah, yeah. the Charlotte Tilbury Pink so Gazin. Blend, 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 blend. Oh my gosh, it's like a highlighter and a blush. I know, it's so good. Yeah, damn, can confirm this powder's bloody good and I'm getting it. What's your favourite board game to play? It's not a board game. What is it? I feel like my favourite game to play in like a group or with anybody is Scattergories. Yeah, you love that. That is like a banger. I feel like it's a hit every time, yeah. I think. Every That's... time our group plays it, it just like sets everybody off. Or code names, I play that with Ani and Tom. And I'm like terrible at it. And yeah, I think it's they, fun in a group. They never want to pair up with me. Like Tom never wants to pair uh, up with me, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> Do you actually? No, I really like to play my job. Is it hard? Um, no, it's really easy. We learned in lockdown last year and we've been obsessed ever since. Like my whole fan plays. Andy and I like have one and we have people over. Do you have the robot table? Um, no, not the yeah. I would love that. I feel like, can I borrow some of that? What? A highlighter. Oh yeah, of course. What? <laughs> That's so fucking rude. Yeah, of course you can. And I've also got this too, which is gorgeous. <laughs> Stop being a fake bitch on it. Okay. I also have these as well that you might want to have a look at. <laughs> you know what I'm really sad about? Tell me. Champagne pot. It's coming back, you do know that, right? <gasps> Really? So apparently something is happening with Smashbox. Yeah. And so they're actually going to bring it back through Smashbox. They're going to bring back the concealer correctors. Yeah. And they're going to bring back Champagne Pop. But that's the only thing they're bringing back. Let me show you my Champagne Pop. And I do not want to let go. I, don't, I think the Champagne Pop is way too, too orange. I feel like that Fenty Beauty one is heaven. Oh, God. No. Show them. Oh, no. My highlighter, it's <laughs> broken. Why is it even on TikTok if you don't know that? Oh no, our table, it's broken. No, I don't oh know. I'm God. sorry, you have to send it to me. Put it here. Some people probably don't know. Okay, this is the TikTok reference. Yeah. And then the TikTok I've been loving is like, do you know the baby? It's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Clearly, I'll, I'll show you. I did my dance one time on TikTok and went viral with it. Mm, 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 mm. Our fucking algorithm is <laughs> not the same. What are your three biggest pet peeves? Okay, so biggest pet peeve is chewing loudly. Mm -hmm. I don't really have anything else to be honest. That's like my number one. People that can't drive properly on the road. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even think of three to be honest. What about you? Can we just do top two? I have three. Okay, you go. <laughs> you go top one, slow walkers. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you and Stella are the same. Oh, right. I just can't. Like, I know sometimes I walk slowly too, yeah. but some people just 
when I'm walking, especially oh. in a shopping center or in the city, yeah. like everyone's on a mission. Yeah. If you're a slow walker, fucking walk to the side. Just like when you drive. Left side, left lane, please. <laughs> right yeah. lane's for the speedy walkers. Oh my gosh. What if it's like an old person? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm not a dickhead, but. Number two, I really dislike it when people use the word classy. That is like the ugliest word in the dictionary by far. It's just such a bogey word, no offense. Mm. And I know so many people that use it, and it's not that I dislike the person, I just think the word itself is really ugly. <laughs> that Chanel bag is so classy. Oh, <laughs> I just feel like when you call something classy, it's no longer what you intend it to be, like yeah. what you've intended it for it to be. Okay. Um, and I think I learned this from my, my teacher when I was studying fashion. We learn how to describe our collections. We learn how to talk about fashion houses and like brands and how to like write like articles, kind of like yeah. they do in Vogue when they write pieces. And the one word she banned was classy. And I feel like ever since then, like I've never used it ever again. Yeah. Because if you think about it, have you ever seen a Vogue article describe anything as classy? Not once. Yeah. Not in the history. It's probably blacklisted. So I just feel like there's better words. Yours look very natural, like it blends into your Thanks. Um, lash The line key really is nice. lots of mascara and tight lining. Like lots of mascara after. Mm. Yeah. That kind of clumpy mascara look is what you will always get with your natural lashes. And so yeah. fake lashes, they look too put together. Yeah. So when you put mascara through it, it makes it more natural. I couldn't think of my third pet peeve. This is a good one. Um, what is your most used emoji? It's the love heart, the pink love heart with the stars oh, on it. Yeah. Stars are, I feel like that's better than the red love heart, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I'm going to see what my first one is. You should check your phone. Okay. It's like a love plant. <laughs> I feel like whatever that top one is, is the most used. So mine's with laughing, crying face, because I think everything's funny. Yeah, mine's that, but like but this too. Yeah. So the last question is, what do you think is your best quality? I guess I'm very kind. I feel like I'm a very kind person. Mm -hmm, but then I'm also like a very, like I could be savage but and I could be is, I, think, I think people think that to be kind, you don't know how to stand up for yourself. And that's not true. I feel yeah. like you can be kind, but have a backbone. And I think that's you. I feel like you get really fired up when people aren't, or oh, when people mistreat you or mistreat yeah. other people. Yeah. And then maybe I'll tell you like what I think your greatest quality is. And so I feel like, yes, you're kind. But I also feel like you're like you're super loyal. And mm. I feel like that comes with kindness. You're like a ride or die, do you know what I mean? Like mm. I feel like if something goes down, like you're like the first one there ready to like fuck it. She's the first person <laughs> there with the fucking bat, like ready to go. No, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh that's nice. Yeah. I'll definitely be I think there. you're like a ride or die bitch, and there's very few people that are like that. Yeah. That's nice. I think that's nice too. It's your qualities, isn't that great? It's all about you. I feel like my greatest quality, and sometimes it's like to a fault in the sense, okay, I'll just say what it is before I explain it. Mm -hmm. I feel like my best quality is that I like care really deeply. Like if I mm -hmm. care about something, I care about it so much. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if it's a person, it's a topic, it's like a charity, like it doesn't matter what it is. If I feel really compelled or like if I love it really deeply or love the person or if I care about the the cause, like, it keeps me up at night. I'm there to make everyone feel... And I just always want to make everyone feel, like, special. Yeah. Not special. I feel like something... No, but it is. Like, it's not... I don't do... I don't have money for grand gestures. I just want to clarify that. Like, I don't have... But it's just a little shit, you know? Yeah, I just want to make sure people remember that I, like, think they're really special. Like, I feel very lucky that I have really good friends and I feel like it's so important to remind people like you feel lucky to have them. Okay, well let's setting spray this bitch. Well, go on, go ahead. Ooh, yeah, let me do it. Waste it. Use it. It's been tidy. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I normally do on the sides of my face. Relax. That's it. Nice. So we have come to the very end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a little makeup inspo and got to know Linda a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I had so much fun filming with you. Thanks for having me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.